Hey everybody, Jake the Heavy Snake here with me. Yeah, Zero Zero is joining us because we're gonna open up Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And I'm the only person you know who plays Yu-Gi-Oh. Yes, uh, I think there might be one person I work with who plays it, but yes, you're the only person who I know I know who plays it well. Anyways, these are crappy dollar ammo packs. Yeah, I'm the best. Actually, he is he 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 is pretty good. Um, remember that time your monster got like what was it like? 20 billion attack or something? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that that was just the Cyber Dragon with Primal Seed Loop. Yeah. All the Yugo fans who are amazing know what that is. <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Anyway, so yeah, I got these at the Dollarama. There's eight cards. Um, which is actually pretty good compared to these stupid Pokemon packs. I only have four cards. Uh, but anyways, so yeah. Uh, Ben's joining us because he knows more about Yu-Gi-Oh and he can tell me these cards are good or bad, which they're probably all bad. They're all but bad. Yeah. Because I mean, it's Dollarama. They're a dollar. They're they're, they're a, a dollar, which is, they're only a dollar. Anyways, here's the first one. So let's see what we've got. Um, this is probably a good card. Maybe I don't know. Okay, so we have the first one here is Digital Bug Web Solder. Uh, digital bugs are awful. Uh, yes. This Just in general. Yeah, this thing's attack is only 500. It looks like... It looks weird. Um, anyways... Oh, that is the best digital bug. At oh. least for the main deck ones. Oh, is it? Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, Magician's Left Hand. Uh, I don't remember if it was left hand or right hand that was good, but... Uh, negate the effect of your... Not the best. Uh, negate the effect of your opponent's first trap card or effect that resolves each turn while... Okay, that's the bad one. Oh, okay. Uh, this one looks like a cool card. Um, per Performer Pal Odd Eyes Minotaurus. I can't pronounce that. It's a pendulum. I don't also. think that's one of the good Odd Eyes Performer Pals. Yeah, it, it's a cool looking card, but the monster looks weird. Is it a pendulum? Yes. Ooh, pendulum. Uh, next one is Phantasm Spiral Crash. <laughs> is this not the deck I was using recently? Uh, yes, it is. This is the yeah. This is the card that uh, actually was good for me. Okay. Yeah. Next one is. It's easy to play. Yeah. Uh, next one is bamboo scrap. Bamboo scrap. What does that even do? Uh, could be one plant type monster. Special summon uh, two plant tokens uh, to your opponent's side of the field in defense position. No, that's not good. This one's upside down. Um. Speed, Speedroid, Mal, Malicious, wow, that's embarrassing, I can't read that. Um, malicious Magnet, that's how, you, that's how you pronounce that. Speedroid, Malicious Magnet. Speedroids are Terra Top and Hecatom Borg. Uh, what? The good Speedroids are Terra Top and Hecatom Borg. Okay, so this so is, a, well, that's neither of them. That's a bad one. Um, this thing looks like Swallow from Pokemon. Uh... I can't pronounce half of these. Lurie, 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 Lurie. Yes, Sapphire Swallow. Swallow. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like her. She's good. Her ta yeah, but her tag's only a hundred. Well, I guess she uh, she's level one. Okay. Uh, she's used to make Link and Xyz summons. Oh, uh, okay. Twilight Ninja Necron the Shunin. You mean Shunin? Yes, I can't. <laughs> Is this even English? I don't know. Um, yeah, is this no, a, it's not. Is this a good Japanese, Jake? Oh, is this a good card? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's level six. Okay, cool. That's, the fir That's only the first pack. Okay, second pack. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got here in the second pack. Um. These guys are put in weird orders. Okay, so this first one, uh, Larry Lisk, uh, t Turquoise Warbler. Ooh, you got the second of the trio. Now you just need to get one more. What's that one called? Uh, Turquoise Warbler. Co uh, there's, you have Cobalt Sparrow, right? Uh, what was the one I got? Sapphire Swallow. Uh, Sapphire Swallow. Oh, Sapphire Swallow. Turquoise Warbler. Wa wa Cobalt Eagle. Cobalt Eagle? Okay, I'll be looking for that one. I think, no, Cobalt Eagle might be a, might be a, it is a crystal beast. Uh, Lear, I can't remember the third one. Uh, the next one is 
Explos- Explosum. I think it's how you pronounce that. Oh, it is Cobalt Sparrow. Okay. Well, hopefully I'll get that one because that'd be that'd be pretty cool. Next one is Explosum. I think it's how you pronounce that. I have no idea what that is. It's like a ba- um. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's like a baby elephant type thing. Oh. It's a level. It's a level. Okay. It's, a, it's a level one. It's a level one beast. Uh, this next one. That sounds fantastic. This next one is uh re. Re dicycle. It's a trap. Re dicycle. That's a speedroid card and not a good one. <laughs> I'm getting all the bad cards. Uh, this is what. Uh, oh, yeah, you bought dollar store packs, but the little loose are good. Uh, this card's font is really big. I don't know why. Uh, spiral master plan. Oh, spiral. Is, it, is that a foil? Yeah, that is a foil. Yeah, it is a foil. But it, the font is weird. I don't know. It's Spirals were actually the best in the game for a little while recently. Oh, seriously? Actually, for months. Yeah, that, and that's one of their good cards. So nice. You got a good thing. Yay, you got a good card. Okay, this next one is Spellbinding Circle. I've heard you talk about that one. I've heard you, I've seen, I think I've seen you use that one. Spellbinding Circle? Uh, no. Oh. You use Spellbinding Circle. Oh, I do? See, I don't even know what that's uh, Spellbinding Circle isn't that good. Oh. Uh, it's not anymore. Supercharge? But I have no idea what that does. Oh, wait. Uh, I think that's a Roid card, isn't it? Uh, it is. When your opponent declares an attack while the only monsters you control are machine type Roy monsters, draw two cards. Yeah, that's okay for Roids, but it's outdated. Oh. Uh, next, there's two left in this pack. Next one is Ritual of Destruction. I can pronounce that. Uh, that effect is that, that effect is pretty long. Um, and the last one is the Phantom Knights of Lost Vambrace. Oh yeah, I actually used that card in Paleo for a while. It, is it good? Uh, it's okay. I basically I just made like a Phantom Knights, a tiny Phantom Knights trap engine to run the paleos, and that way I can make Curse Javelin with a quick effect. Ah. This video is going to be, uh, this, end of, this video is going to end up being about 16, 16 minutes long. Okay, two more packs. Okay. Well, yeah, you have to examine each card in great detail. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes it more interesting, rather than just me just flying through them like I do with my breakpoint pack openings. Okay, here we go, next pack. What's this one? Um, oh, Light Sworn card. Light Sworn Judgment. Oh, Light Sworn Judgment, uh, that one searches Judgment Dragon, so it's okay, but not worth running above one. Okay. Uh, Fiend, uh, Griffin. Griffin. I don't know what that is, so it's probably bad. Uh, Bo, Bo Baboon. Bo Baboon? Oh, I love that card. Yeah? Yes, it's amazing. Um, okay, I'll trade to you next time I see you. Uh, this one... I, I, I have a million copies of it. Oh, okay. Uh, this one is Junk Anchor. Junk Anchor. It's a... I don't think that's a good junk card. It, it, its name is in foil, or whatever you call it. So it's... Yeah, it's a regular rare. Okay. Uh, Mogmole. That looks like bottles. I don't know what that is either. That looks like bottles. So many random commons in the game. <laughs> that looks like Bottle Sun from Banjo Tooie. Okay. Uh, Seed of Deception. That sounds familiar. It's obviously. I don't think it's good. It's obviously a plant card because, well, it's just the way it sounds and looks. Uh, Dark Magic Expanded. That's actually a decent card if I remember. It's one of the Dark Magician ones. Yeah, it's got a really long effect. And I got another, I got another uh, Larry, Larry Luce, uh Sapphire sw- sw- uh, Swallow. Swallow. Uh, you still need to get the last one. Well, hopefully I'll get, you know, I'll just go back and go around and buy like a 10 more of these just so I can get that. Okay. Or, or I could just like give you one. Oh, oh, I'm guessing you have a bunch of those? Uh, yeah, because they were commons from a recent set. Yeah, Ben, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, card collection is like my Pokemon card collection. Okay, final pack. Everywhere I look in this room, I see Yu-Gi-Oh cards somewhere. Or something you hear related. <laughs> it's just like me and Pokemon. There's like Pokemon cards everywhere in my room. Okay, final pack. Let's see. Oh, I got an Xyz monster. Okay, now let's see. What is let's see if I can pronounce this. Uh, Aegean of the Sea Castrum. Age, Aegean of the Sea. That's an interesting card. It's not a particularly great one, but it's okay. Its attack is question mark. Yeah, because it 
basically you banish a random card from your opponent's extra deck and his attack and defense become equal to that monster's attack and defense. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, okay, uh, Ben, I see a purple card. I don't know if that's good or not. Uh, that's a fusion that's, monster. That's fusion. Okay, next one. Um, it's two cards away, so it's not it's not the next it's the next couple of cards. Uh, this next card is a spell card, Ignition Phoenix. I think that's the Ignite Field spell. It is. It's that's an another card you were playing in the. Oh yeah! Oh yeah 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 yeah! I remember I remember the, the uh, Ignite. Okay, next one is uh, Spiral Mission Rescue. That's another spiral card. Uh, Spiral Mission Rescue. I think that's the one that lets you take control of the opponent's cards that are bounce and stuff. I don't remember, but I uh, think it was played. This purple card I think is good, but I'm gonna save it till the end because, uh, yeah. Um, this next one is Phantasm Spiral Assault. Phantasm Spiral Assault. That's I think one of the worst, or that's the bad Phantasm Spiral Trap. Oh. Uh, uh, I got another bamboo scrap. I think I got them before, didn't I? Yeah. Uh, this one is uh, Flashbang. I remember that card vaguely, but I don't remember what it does. Uh, activate only after damage calculation when a monster your opponent controls made a direct attack. It is now the end phase of this turn. Yeah, it's not good. Uh, penultimate card is uh, Pritiplant... Cord, cordips, cordips. I can't pronounce that. Cordips. Cordips. That's one of the, one of the cards from Maximum Crisis. It's the plant's got like three cards in that set, and two of them are amazing, and that one is mediocre. Oh, uh, it's a really weird looking card. Okay, the final card is Luna Light Leo Dancer. Leo Dancer. I can't remember if Leo Dancer was the good one. Uh, it is a level 10 monster. It's got pretty good. No, it wasn't Leo Dancer. Oh. Panther Dancer. Oh. Well, that was pretty fun, actually. Those were some interesting cards. Um, if, can I put any of these in, in, into my Kabasha deck, Ben? Uh, uh, well, I mean, Kabasha has no theme, so... <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, that's all I have for today, people. Thank you very much for watching. Check out Zero Xerox channel. It'll be in the description, and then my Facebook page will be in the description as well. And um, any closing words, Ben? Uh, no. Oh, you're supposed to say have a dongo day. No. Oh, he, he, he doesn't say that anymore. Anyways, bye.